Hey everyone, for today's project I'm going to be installing the cheapest backup camera that I could find on Amazon and it came with the camera itself, a pretty decent looking monitor, a power cord with a five, five or five and a half millimeter um, end on it, an extension cord with the power and um, the video and then also uh, this cigarette lighter uh, power cord. Now I'm not going to be using this and because I'm installing this on a long bed pickup truck I'm pretty sure that this is not going to be enough. So I went ahead and got a 25 foot extension and I specifically got this one because it doesn't have uh, this intersection or uh, whatever you would call this, to reduce it down to one wire. It's three individual strands, and they separate very easily. So I'm going to pull this apart. This was pretty cheap, and I'm going to pull this apart and only use one of them. And then if I needed to do another one, I would, or I would have two more extensions already on hand. Uh, also, to help me out, I got a connector kit and then some heat shrink just to keep it a little bit more weatherproofed, some uh, power wire, and I like this because it has the power and the ground connected to each other, so it, it runs as one wire, but then you have both. And while I'm doing all the work, I'm going to be putting in a reverse light uh, just to make it easier to see behind me in the dark. Uh, I got picked up a couple generic switches to run the camera and the light. And then this is a pack of these power adapters. So since this is kind of nicely put together, I don't have to cut this apart and try to do something with it. I can just use these. Uh, also, I've seen, you've seen this before. I've used this before. This is a stripping tool. I did a little review on that. I'll link that in the corner. And I'll link all of this stuff in the description um, if anybody's interested in doing something like this also or any one of these pieces you'll be able to find that in the links below um, so let's get started also as a side note this looks pretty slick it has a video input uh, this is just the power input and then it has this second input which I believe looking at this is a second video input and what it seems like is you could hook this up to maybe like a front facing camera that's on all the time and then when you shift it into reverse and this camera uh, a signal starts coming into this feed it will automatically switch the monitor to the reverse camera and then when you switch it back to not reverse uh, it will go back to the main feed so I only have one, the one camera that came with it, so I'm only going to be using the main feed. But um, if someone, for some reason, has a multiple camera setup, uh, that would be kind of cool. And I'm going to keep that in mind for use on the van project, because it might be handy to have uh, maybe an overhead front-facing camera and, and then also a rear camera, um, just to be able to monitor clearances and that sort of stuff. So. I might use one of these kits again. The first thing that I'm going to do is mount the light in the back and also the camera and then I can start wiring it from back to front. So I'm not going to get too fancy. I'm just going to drill a hole in one of these blanks and mount the light right there. Next, the camera just mounts on the license plate holes, so that'll go right up here. So I got the wiring started. Uh, this is, I connected that um, five and a half millimeter end, that's connected here. I have a little bit of heat shrink over it. Uh, I haven't shrunk it yet, but 
Um, this will help, I guess, hold it together and keep it a little bit more weatherproof. Uh, same idea with the video feed. Um, and then this is just the connection to that red and black wire. And then I have uh, another red and black wire here for the light. And I have all of those running up to the front. And I put just some alligator clips on the one that goes to the camera. So I can power the camera and then uh, turn on the monitor and just make sure that it's uh, A, working, and B, um, the right way. And I don't have a video feed that's upside down. So let me lower this down. I'll get that hooked up, and then we can check the video. Turns out I had an issue with my nice weather sealed connection here uh, to this five and a half millimeter plug. But um, once I got that sorted out and I have it crudely connected to the battery with just some alligator clips and tied together, but it seems to be working pretty nicely. I can see the trailer hitch, which is my goal for hooking up to trailers. Um, but the picture is, probably the video of the picture is not the best, but I'm kind of quite impressed with it. Uh, these markers, I don't know if there's an option to turn these off uh, because I'm sure they're not quite accurate in uh, the way that I have this set up. But um, yeah, so far I'm very happy. I'm gonna continue with the installation and basically clean up the wires and uh, this should work very nicely. Also, it's worth noting that this is, uh, this monitor is really, really lightweight. So um, this is just double-sided sticky tape. I'm gonna put it on the windshield, but I don't expect any weight issues to come out of this, whether it's uh, wiggling around while driving or having it fall off and the tape fail, um, unless it's just bad tape. But it says 3M, so uh, it should be pretty decent. Anyway, on to uh, putting these wires up and zip tying them somewhere. And then I think the place while I'm here that I'm gonna come in to the interior is this grommet right here. Just cause it looks like there's already some aftermarket wires coming through. Uh, I'll just follow suit and do the same thing and through there so it's basically wired up and I tried to follow as close as I could the original wiring harness for the body all the way up to as far forward as I could and now I just have them hanging down here and I'm gonna lower it down feed the wires up through there and then through the grommet that I mentioned earlier I'm back on the top side of the truck and I have the two grounds here that I'm going to use this connector and connect it to this existing ground over here. And then I just have to run the uh, power lines inside for the switch as well as the video signal line and then run another power wire in to operate the switch. And then really the light should be done. And then the only thing left will be to wire the uh, rest of the, um, the screen and just wire that up to the windshield. But first, right now, I'm going to work on these grounds.
All right, so I got all the wires bundled up and out of the way. Most importantly, they're not gonna get tangled in the pedals. Uh, just for temporary, I have the switches coming out right here. I was able to run the RCA and I had just enough to get over to here. So now when I flip the switch on, both the camera and the screen come on automatically and simultaneously. And the picture looks pretty good. And then I can turn on the backup light and it lights up the trailer hitch nicely. So backing up to a trailer is gonna be much, much easier um, from now on. And then I just flip the switch off when I don't need it and I'm done. So I don't know if I'm gonna want it hooked up to the reverse switch or not. Um, right now, I'm just gonna do it, use it as a as needed basis. And here's one more look at the wires over here. I had to add one more ground for the screen and I just added it on here. And that could stand to be tidied up a bit, but uh, maybe I'll do that when I do the switches. In the meantime, so far, I give this uh, backup camera a thumbs up, especially for the price. Check out the link in the description if you're interested in one. Um, I'm impressed for the money. And uh, now I have this also extra, uh, just in case I need it, I guess. But thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment with any thoughts or suggestions. And uh, yeah. I'll see you next time.